Here I've got a nice combinatorics problem about coloring the plane. So we want to suppose that every point in the plane is either yellow, green, red, or blue. And then we want to show that there are two points at a distance of one or two points at a distance of the square root of three that are the same color. Okay, so generally with these types of problems, you want to start with a contradictory statement. In other words, we're working towards a contradiction. So I'll say by way of contradiction, suppose that all points at a distance of one or the square root of three are different colors. And then somehow we construct a coloring of the plane which will contradict this statement. Another pretty standard thing to do here is to think about all of the tilings of the plane by regular polygons. And it's well known that only squares, triangles, and hexagons tile the plane regularly. And in fact, the tiling by triangles and hexagons is pretty much the same because you can break every hexagon into equilateral triangles. So really we want to focus on tilings of the plane that are built out of squares or tilings of the plane built out of equilateral triangles. So here's an example of that happening. Okay, but now we've got to decide which one of these will be more advantageous in our case. Well, I'm going to argue that the equilateral triangle tiling will be a little bit more advantageous, and that's because this distance square root of three pops up very naturally in this picture. So if these are equilateral triangles with side length one, so the distance from there to there is one, then it's pretty easy to check that the distance from this point right here to this point right here is square root of three. So the square root of three really naturally lives inside of this triangular lattice. The square root of three doesn't really naturally live inside of a unit square lattice. The square root of two most definitely does, given the fact that the difference or the distance between uh, points on a diagonal of one of these squares is the square root of two, but our problem is set up for the square root of three instead of the square root of two. Another thing to notice is that these one, two, three, four points all have to be different colors. So these three points have to be different colors because they're all one unit away from each other. But then this point has to be different than these two because it's one unit away and different from this one because it's square root of three units away. So there's another way that this square root of three works in with the four colors built into this problem. Okay, so now that we've made these observations and maybe like started our problem towards a contradiction, let's clean up the board and we'll start with a nice big triangular lattice to work with. Okay, we've got our triangular lattice on the board. Before we get started coloring the points on this lattice, I wanna make a very important remark. And that is that the orientation of this lattice is arbitrary. I put it like this, so it includes horizontal lines, but it could be rotated slightly, so it includes like lines at 10 degrees, or it could be rotated 90 degrees. And that's because we're not just looking at the lattice points here and the coloring of the lattice points, although that will be one of our major tools, we're looking at the coloring of this entire plane. And the coloring of the lattice is really just a tool to show that two points in the plane at the correct distance have to be the same color. Okay, great. So now we're gonna start coloring points and we can just pick a point arbitrarily and maybe color it an arbitrary color and then build off of there. So I'll start here and I'll color this point blue. Okay, and then from our discussion before, we know that there must be four points attached to this that have a different color. So this has to be different from blue because it's unit length one away. So we might as well make it green. So this has to be different from blue and green because it's one unit away from each of them. So we might as well make this one yellow. 
And then finally, this one down here has to be different than green and yellow because it's one unit from those and it's square root of three units from the blue one. So that means this one has to be red. And these have been chosen arbitrarily, but they have to be different colors. We could have permuted the colors around a little bit, but solving it for this case is exactly the same as solving for a permutation of this case. Okay, but now that we've got this maybe like diamond shaped object built, we can start building the rest of the lattice points out of this. So let's notice that this point right here must be blue because it's one unit away from this green one, one unit away from this red one, and square root of three units away from this. Let's notice that it's two units away from this other blue one. So that's interesting. Okay, so keep going. We know that this guy right here has to be red because it's one unit from blue, one unit from green, square root of three units from yellow. And then this guy right here has to be yellow. Again, for the same kind of thing that we've been doing this whole time. So now I think you could probably see a pattern. Like this line right here will go red, green, red, green. This line right here will go blue, yellow, blue, yellow. And that's going to build out the entire lattice of this plane. So let's maybe fill in some of the rest of these. So we know this has to be yellow. This has to be yellow. This must be blue. This must be blue. Then this right here must be green. This right here must be green, which means this right here has to be red. And then let's see, we've got a blue one right here. And then we've got yellow, yellow right here. And now let's maybe speed this up and I'll fill in the rest. Okay, so we've got all of the points on this lattice colored in. And now we're gonna use this very important remark that I made before, and the orientation of this lattice is arbitrary. So let's say we had started building the lattice right here, but we had drawn the lines at slightly different angles. Well, then we would have gotten this exact same pattern, except this exact same pattern would be rotated a little bit. And that actual rotation would be true for any angle that we could have here. We would get this same pattern. Well, actually, the red, yellow, and green dots might change, but all of these blue dots are kind of fixed in place. So what that means is that building all rotations of this lattice mean that a circle centered here with radius 2 is completely blue. So let's maybe draw that circle in here. So this circle of points right here is completely blue. Okay, great. And that may not seem like a problem, but it is. And that's because we can easily construct a chord of this circle with length one or the square root of three. It's a little bit easier to illustrate it with a chord of length square root of three. So we know the distance from here to here is the square root of three. Now let's fix my thumb on a point in the circle and then rotate this back until we hit another point in the circle. So that gives me this point right here and this point right here. Now if I draw a line exactly between those two points, it has length square root of three. Now you can argue that such a line must exist by the intermediate value theorem. Because you know if you move a line from here, this line has length 4 where it intersects the two sides of the circle because the circle is radius 2, therefore it's diameter 4. But if you move it all the way over here, it intersects the circle at one point. In other words, it's tangent. But then by the intermediate value theorem, somewhere in between, it must intersect the circle creating a line segment of root 3. So maybe to write this down in summary, we have two points that are distance square root of three apart. And they live on this circle of radius two, which is all blue. But that contradicts our ability to 
build a coloring of the plane where any two points of distance one or the square root of three are different colors. And so that means this is indeed impossible. And that proves our goal over here. And that's a good place to stop.